Blue Crit here on Pastiche of Skin. It's good to see you. It's good to be back. It's good to have you back. Look at this. They've actually gone a little bit more um, compact here. This isn't like one crit. This is two crits. We're going to be doing like two crits, one after another in the two separate videos, but just so everybody a little bit more presentable, I put one on top of the other. Luke Gaming has arrived for this month. Um, Battlegrounds is the theme. Um, I'm not too sure. I, from what I could see was in the content was... A lot of kind of survival and monster fighting, but I suppose it makes sense for Battleground. It's kind of like a part and parcel, but everything is a Battleground, as long as we survive. Oh, okay. What's we got? Shut. So take a while, guys. We're going to do the wine. How's it going, guys? Thank you very much for watching. Welcome back to another episode of Derm Tries, Derm First Things with crates and loot boxing and unboxings. <laughs> Today we're looking at the loot gaming crate for the month of... Is it, no, no, it's a September crate. The like, gaming for September, which was Battlegrounds. And, yeah. <laughs> I immediately knew what this t-shirt was as soon as I pulled it out. Check it out, guys. It is Pit Boy, or not Pit Boy, the um, Vault Boy, or Vault Dweller, t-shirt of all the faces. Look at that. That looks pretty damn cool. I can look at that. Yup. That's a bit massive on me, though. I, I, I'm pretty sure the girlfriend's going to steal this as a pajamas. <laughs> it's a pretty big shirt. Does What size is this one listed as? Did they give me? Oh, wow, it's a very large XL. Um, but yeah, I like that. I like having all of the different kind of like articulations of the Vault Dweller dude, all available in one big long shirt. Nice kind of quality. Reasonably light though, a um, bit of a summery kind of gauge shirt in blue made by, oh, it's a Bethesda branded one as well. So whoever it is that got to build that. Yeah, I wonder if you actually, it's a Loot Crate exclusive shirt anyway, so very nice of them to provide that from Bethesda to Loot Crate. But um, yeah, the, the quality's not, it's not brilliant. I mean, the print job is embossed on top. I think that's the kind of thing that will peel with time. But, but since it's actually not large panels of it, it's actually just um, textures kind of like applied. Yeah, I like this one. I'm gonna wear the hell out of this shirt. It's gonna be, this is gonna be casual, chilled out, comfortable wear. Probably gonna see me wearing it in the next video, to be honest. So moving that to the side, let's go back into the crate. What have we got in here? Okay, so of course this Gears of Four themed, so I'm going to find out what it is. Let's see. All right, this, I'm a little bit perturbed by this because was this not meant to be something that was in the Gears of War special edition crit? I'd be a little bit pissed off if that was the case. Oh, well, I think the one that they had inside that crit was actually a USB. That happened to be the same as the Lancer, but this is actually just a, a model for you to put on your shelf. It's pretty cool. I like guns, the figures. I probably, do you know what I'm probably gonna do with this? I'm probably gonna go into the background and actually put it onto my Gundam figure and have him hold the Lancer up to his arm. So yeah, that actually probably looks appropriate. He'll be holding um, Tracer in one hand and this in the other and he's gonna slice Tracer in half. That's exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Might do a wee photograph of that for you guys to see afterwards. But yeah, um, model figure. Yeah, Gears of Wars 4. Gears of Wars series, um, never really got massively into. Enjoyed the hell out of the first one whenever it was on the original 360 and I played a fair bit of the multiplayer until I got to the point where I was actually quite comfortable with it. So I was proficient enough to not die instantly at least. And they kind of, that game introduced me more to horde modes which I, I, I don't like them in games. I don't like them whenever they kind of like replacing any kind of like actual content. Whenever hordes happen in a mission, they're a pain. Whenever hordes are set aside on their own, they can be kind of fun. But teach their own. No, no, not my personal interest. My, not my personally favorite kind of like game style to actually have added into a game. So yeah, next thing we got here is from Dead Rising 4. This feels like a very um, Xbox-centric crit, maybe? <laughs> Considering uh, Dead Rising, although admittedly Dead Rising uh, 4. Was Dead Rising 4 or 3? No, it was Dead Rising 3 I was actually thinking of. was Xbox exclusive. Dead Rising 4 will be uh, all consoles, I imagine. But yeah, check this out. What have we got in here? Um, I've got a feeling just by the weight of it and after, after seeing the trailer for Frank is back that it's possibly come on <laughs> god damn you Capcom why did you seal this box so well um, I saw what it was and it was uh, Frank said he set in fire to a Christmas tree so I've got a feeling it is no oh I thought it was going to be a lighter it's not it's actually a multi-tool Branded for Dead Rising 4. That, I like that. Oh man, I like that. That's eye proof. 
Yeah. We basic uh, toolkit. Of course, typical kind of pliers. What else is in there? Screwdriver heads. Thing for getting the thing out of a horse's hoof. Uh, nail file. Bottle opener. And, <laughs> even at the very bottom, is there a corkscrew in there? That's one thing I'm curious about. Is there a corkscrew? No, no corkscrew. It's not a full on Swiss Army knife if it doesn't have a corkscrew. But it also has a little torch that I can dazzle the camera with. Oh. All right, cool. And it's actually, like, <laughs> it's got Frank Ress's name carved into the side of it. That's pretty cool. All right, I can approve of that. I'm, I'm on board with that. That's actually, that's pretty nice. <laughs> cool. All right, I honestly thought that was going to be a uh, lighter, which would have been all right. Um, a little middle like cheap lighters tend to actually like not hold their fuel very well. But that's actually, that's on damn useful. I, I, I did say in previous crits that I wanted utilitarian items. I'm cool with that. I'm actually okay with them doing this. This, this is actually a really good crit so far. I'm actually really pleased with it. So what's our next one here? We've got um, Battlezone 1980. Is this the old uh, Tankian Battlezone? Is it, I'm thinking it's getting a re-release now with um, PlayStation VR. There's like a Battlezone 2016 or whatever it is. But this is a Loot Crate exclusive box. So I'm assuming it must be something... Themed on them. Oh, nice. Cool. So, like um, Loot Anime created from well, well back, they gave us a few shot glasses, um, which were Tokyo Ghoul ones. I shattered both mines really quickly. <laughs> I, I think I knocked a bottle cap, I feel like I flicked a bottle cap across the room and hit the tip of one of the glasses and they just shattered. So, um, I'm glad to have new shot glasses. Every single student house should probably have a fair amount of these already in them, but it's always nice to have themed ones. I tend to use them like for wee tea light candles and pop them inside of it and it looks kind of cute. But um, that's actually cool. I like the, um, is that glass even see-through? No, it's completely opaque glass. Or at least a glass with an opaque design on it. That's actually like filling out and using the wireframe kind of stuff from the old battle zone. That's, uh, you know, that's retro. That's kind of fun. Uh, that's housewares. I like it. This has been a very, that's a very utilitarian crate so far. It's, a, it's actually, it's got a couple of like house items that I really like. Which I always find, I always feel like they're more mature items. You know, like things are for a home rather than actually like doodads you have on your shelf. I, I'd rather actually like, I like the feeling of maturity that comes with those kind of things. Like the, the lead crystal glasses and the white whiskey stones from like the first, uh, I don't think it was gaming. It wasn't the gaming crate. It must have been a DX crate. But one of the first DX crates were amazing. Absolutely loved them. Thought they were fantastic. Um, and then of course, then the crate turned into something else. So what else we got on here? We got, of course, we got a book. An issue of Dark Souls, the comic. Never been a Dark Souls fan, but the lore is the only thing that intrigues me. In Dark Souls, the lore is the only thing that I can, like, makes me want to keep an eye on it and watch other people playing it and hear more. So yeah, comic books, good choice, good choice. Um, it obviously it bagged and boarded quite nicely, which is um, a good sign. Checking. I'm actually looking at the spine to see if these are pre-owned issues or anything. But I think it's just the it, lo it looks like it, but it's just the way the Titan kind of did the printer. The print of the scene looks like it's actually aged, even though it isn't. But yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that a read. Oh, nice wee read, nice wee reading book to have. So uh, battleground was of course our theme. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool pin. So the battleground theme, uh, they choose a destructed skull, rather like a desiccated skull sitting on a battlefield with a scene in the background. That's actually a pretty good military pin. Um, I like that one. Battleground, September 2016. Uh, Battleground, guys, you've actually, like, you, pull, you pulled off a pretty damn good crate this time. I'm well pleased with that. Let's crack here. Something's very different. Okay, we need to move these out of the way a wee bit. Hang on. Normally, whenever they did the gaming crits, they did the uh, gaming manuals to go along with them. I think they may have decided to go the same route as the loot anime uh, ones where they actually have the posters, which I, I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of the posters that the loot anime ones come with. Yeah, they have. Decided to go for something different. Okay, so let's get this up on screen so you can see it. Battlefield poster or Battle Browns poster. Yeah, that's actually pretty damn nice. It's, it, feels, it definitely feels like something that was maybe brushed up quickly together whenever they decided to change the design and stop doing what they were doing. It doesn't feel like um, something that's thematically pulled together the same way that the um, the Loot Anime crate is because it's actually got Loot-chan, I keep calling her, I can't remember what her name is, and Yumi, 
I think it is from uh, Chew Crunchyroll, a teaming up and hanging out together and kind of having a theme, almost building a plot of an actual anime out of it, like. So, um, yeah, it would be one of those, like, genre hopping ones. So, yeah, the Battleground crate, you can see all the details of what was actually inside it right here. I mean, I could read them out to you, but um, the one thing we missed out on was, of course, the Mega Crate. Still didn't get my Mega Crate. I'm, I'm disappointed, guys. I'm disappointed, Loot Crate. When do I get a goddamn Mega Crate? Even the mini Mega Crates would be great. So, yeah, missed out on an Xbox One, which, to be honest, I'm... I'm a, <laughs> I'm a PlayStation and PC gamer. I really don't care about the Xbox One S or the Xbox One in any way, shape, or form. I don't mind never owning one. <laughs> Um, so we have the Dead Rising Multifuel, Battleground Coin Pin, Battle Zone Shock Glasses, uh, Fallout Vault Boy Collage Tee, Dar Dark Souls Legend of the Flame Comic, Gears of War Cl Classic Lancer Replica, and then of course the drop for the crate. Wow, um, I am super impressed with this month's uh, gaming crate. No, uh, gaming crate was one of the weaker ones that I didn't particularly care for in the last few months. Uh, I was one of the ones that was like, you're hitting the chopping block. Like, whenever it comes down to it, I will chop you. I gotta, I'm not too concerned about it, but I was like, glad to see that they're actually like making a bit of a turnaround about content. Even if theming is still a bit of an issue, um, I think they're actually like they're making a lot of like headways in towards what they probably really want to be doing with the crate. Speaking of the crate itself, as you can see, it's an ammo crate. Uh, weapons down the bottom of it. The crate size, as you can see, is a lot smaller than previous, and I think that's actually a smart move in their part. This was a nice jam-packed crate. It felt like there was actually like a lot in it. So the value, the, the sense of value was there. It, rather than actually being a lot of packaging, it was actually a lot of stuff was actually very well small knit packaged. Um, the interior of the crate fits in perfectly fine for the theme. I'm perturbed if this is a standard crate size for things in the future. It feels a lot more like the nerd block size where it's actually like a, a t-shirt and just a TPB inside there. But of course that didn't happen this time. If you have larger books, like what they do tend to do, especially with the Loot Crate DX, the larger books, they, that would actually take up nearly everything in there and you would have no space for anything other than like maybe a small charm or whatever. But this time it worked really well for them. I'm a little bit perturbed because I'm a wee bit worried about what they'll do with this one, which is the Loot Anime, which we'll be doing in our next episode. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been um, a Loot Buy Crate unboxing here on Pastiche of Skin. The, uh, there will be a change to what ones we'll be doing because we've, done, we've been doing these a year now. This, is, this has been a year of Loot Crate here on Passage of Skin, and I've been finding that doing the crate videos has been uh, interfering with the production of other stuff here on the channel, mostly because of just editing time after doing this the way I do them. By having multiple cameras and doing the edits and cutting in between them, I'm not really, I, I don't want to go back, I don't want to go to actually having a single camera and editing it down with a lot of like me moving the camera, putting it to look at things and then moving back around again, the way a lot of other Loot Crate or uh, unboxers do. Uh, I don't like editing these videos. Well, I don't like editing these videos for uh, my thoughts. I don't like to edit the possibility of like changing my mind as I'm editing. Going like, oh, I don't want to say that thing. So the way I shoot them currently with it being absolutely everything on view, except for just like whenever I cut to another angle. But it's all like it's all uncut kind of like responses and thoughts about each item as I go through them. Rather than actually maybe like the one like, oh, I have to be really excited about this particular thing, or having the extra time to think about it, rather than actually having the initial impressions. So yeah, this has been uh, Luke Gaming for the month of September, Battlegrounds, here on Pastiche of Skin. I will be back very, very soon with Loot Anime. So until then, guys, I will see all you guys in the next video. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and all those other things. And make sure to check out the links to the side there, because all those links that you click to, and look to, and follow, and increase the exposure and visibility of the site. I've, um, I I've honestly, got, I'm trying to figure out what way advertising works to let people kind of like know more and the easiest way is that every single one of you guys who actually watch this video to this point actually see the end of the video hit the like button please it takes so little of your time if you aren't already subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button it takes so little of your time all it does means you definitely get to see these the next time it comes around and i really want to i want i really want to actually kind of like interact with you guys so if there's anything in the crate if you want you think of dead rising 4 uh, the trailer release for it I'm not a big fan of the big uh, the big change to Frank himself. He doesn't seem to be the Frank West that we know. It, he didn't cover wars, you know. This Frank West didn't cover wars. He just seems to be a zombie who genocide kind of guy. I want to know what people think about the changing character on Frank. Um, also the fact that there's many a different passage of time. He looks no bloody different. Um, except for the fact that they took some angles off of his face because he was quite cubular in the beginning. 
the Dark Souls, how are you guys good at Dark Souls? Let me see your Dark Souls playthroughs. Link me in the comments underneath. Tell me about them because I don't play those series. I gave up on Demon Souls long, long time ago. So it's not really my thing. Um, what else did we have in there? We had Gears of War. Gears of War 4, the franchise is starting to maybe reboot itself. I heard rumors that it's going to go like into a different game style rather than it's kind of like third person action-y chest high walls combat. We'll see what they do with that because Gears of War pretty much depends on its chest high walls action based combat in a lot of ways. So <laughs> maybe they'll go first person perspective and then you can actually chainsaw somebody in half like Doom style because they saw somebody else saw them doing that in the game. But um, yeah, whatever your thoughts, opinions, questions, make sure to ask. I will see you guys all in the next video. So uh, until then, bye bye.